Big Herc 916, Positivity Motivation. And I had to speak on this article because it just blew my mind when I heard about it. Initially, I heard about it roughly a week ago, but um, somebody brought it to my attention here recently, so I figured I'd speak on it. San Jose police officer exposed himself to family masturbated during call, prosecutors say. Now, how crazy is that? The popo was gunning somebody down on a house call. A San Jose police officer has been charged with indecent exposure after authorities say he masturbated inside a home while responding to a domestic disturbance call. Matthew Dominguez, 32, was arrested Thursday and charged with one misdemeanor count of indecent exposure, according to the news released from the Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office. Prosecutors say Dominguez and two other officers responded to a home on April 21st after receiving a call that a mentally ill family member was being violent. A husband and wife, along with their adult daughter, had called about a restraining order violation by their son. The son, who was not identified, had been at home, had removed the GPS tracking device, and then left. According to the district attorney's office, Dominguez took interest in a 23-year-old daughter and continued to interact almost exclusively with her. When the woman gave Dominguez a possible location for her brother, he directed his fellow officers out of the house to try to find him. About 40 minutes into the investigation, the woman and her mother saw Dominguez unzip his pants and rub his crotch as he interacted with them. According to the release from the district attorney's office, the officer then followed the woman who had been directed into the kitchen by her mother and the two saw Dominguez, his wang wang outside his pants, fully exposed, prosecutors say. So this dude pulled the old penitentiary move and actually pulled his thing out and was gunning him down in the kitchen. Man, they promptly left the house to report the behavior to the father and uncle who was nearby. When the father ran to the house and authorities say he saw Dominguez facing out of the kitchen with his erect pee pee in his left hand and his right hand on the counter. So he was stabilizing himself. He was. He was balancing, you know, gunning them down. Uh, cold. This is a cold animal right here. The two male members of the family subsequently reported the incident to the other officers at the scene. Dominguez, who has been with the San Jose Police Department for four years, has been placed on administrative leave. San Jose Police Chief Anthony Mata said in a statement that any conduct similar to what has been alleged will result in termination as quickly as the system allows me to do so. It will also include criminal prosecution and decertification as a police officer. Damn, man, this dude's on the force four years. I mean, he can't get no no ass outside where he has to try to gun down a call. Man, I will not make excuses for criminal conduct from a police officer. Mata said, we are and should be held to the high standards. That is what the public expects of us and what I expect of the men and women who serve and protect San Jose. On Thursday, Mata escorted Dominguez from the police department. Last week, I said that when an officer violates the public's trust or engages in criminal conduct, I would personally walk the officer out the door. Today, I did it. San Jose Police Officer Association President Sean Pritchard called the behavior inexcusable, appalling, and repugnant. Noting that the charges against Dominguez are strong repudiation of this individual's actions. Our department leadership must take a clear eyed look at our current hiring and background process and procedures to ensure we are weeding out any applicant incapable of adhering to strong moral and ethical standards our residents deserve from their police officers. Pritchard said in a statement to the Times. If convicted, Dominguez faced a year in jail and placed him on sexual offenders list for 10 years. The incident comes amid an ongoing investigation into another San Jose police officer who was reportedly drunk while responding to the scene of a kidnapping earlier this month. Man, man. So it sounds like it's going down over in San Jose. And um, 
Oh, Popo couldn't keep his pee pee in his pant pants. Man, dude, you you probably had a, a, another couple hours to get off work, man. You could have went and busted, busted your girlfriend's cheeks, uh, some some girl off of a dating site's cheeks. I mean, did you really have to gun down the mom and the daughter? Come on, man. Come on, you're supposed to have higher standards than that indecent exposure than balancing yourself on the counter, you know, holding it in one hand and balancing with the other. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, man. But at least uh, we ain't got to worry about him going on any more calls, trying to touch somebody's countertops with the old dirty hands. Oof, you animal. Big Herc 916. Don't forget to stop by the Big Herc 916 store and pick up a sticker for your car or a patch or a sticker for your laptop, or maybe a beanie, or read one of the many books that Big Herc 916 has authored. You know how we do it. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916. Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking.